Hi, my name is Louis Pedron. I'm the festival director and programmer of the International Film Festival in Manhattan that's happening at the Anthology Film Archives, 2nd Avenue and 2nd Street in New York City on October 17 to 20, 2013. And I'm so excited that I have the filmmakers of Save the Putnam Nature Trail. Um, that's going to be on Program 9, 1 p.m. on Sunday, October 20. So um, we have Vanessa Corwin and of course Will Sanchez. Would you mind describing what's your role in this film? And then how did you two actually meet and collaborate on this film? Ah. My role on the film is um, I was the producer. This is a really great collaboration because I have been working with Will now for about two years on my show at MNN called Her Flicks. Um, I met Will at MNN. We were crewing on another show. Two years later, Will is now um, technical director and editor. And Will, of course, has his own show at MNN. Um, got to run with Will. And he came to me one day and said, look, I'd like to do um, a special edition of my show, but in Van Cortlandt Park on this nature trail because, you know, the Parks Department wants to pave it over and, you know, I need a producer. And I said, I'm in. We had a director, cinematographer, um, who shot something else for us, for her flicks, um, that was excellent, excellent video. And Will said, I want that guy. <laughs> and oddly enough, his name is Guy Shahar. And this is another little small world thing that um, I know Guy from a director's workshop that, that we were in together. Will asked Guy um, if he wanted to uh, direct this, and Guy said, yeah. And the other great part of that is that Guy grew up in the Bronx, and he played in Van Cortlandt Park as a kid. It was a collaboration that was kind of meant to be, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Well, first, I want to thank Louise for inviting us to the festival. We're yes, quite excited. Yes, absolutely. We it's are our, thrilled. We are thrilled. It is our world premiere, it's not only our New York premiere. premiere. Exactly. Yeah. But I do have my own show on Manhattan Neighborhood Network called so. Gotta Run With Will. And its mission is to highlight athletes who have used the gift of running to transform their lives and to better the lives of others. Mm -hmm. And I heard about the Putnam Nature Trail from one of the runners who was concerned, and rightly so, that enough, enough exposure attention was being given to the fact that the city, the New York City Park Department, wanted to pave this 40-year-old trail. It's only a mile and a half. It's in Rand Cortland Park in the Bronx. But it's been described in the literature as the spine of Van Cortland Park, mm -hmm. as well as the lungs of Van Cortland Park, because it is rich in this canopy of trees and birds and foliage. So what is the negative side of paving it? And why are you advocating for it to be kept as okay. a dirt road trail? Okay, well, because that's what the community wants. Mm -hmm. It's a flat one and a half miles dirt road. So the senior citizens, for example, love the trail mm -hmm. because it's very easy on their legs. It's flat. Oh. They can walk. Yeah. yeah. They can do their constitutional. Their doctor says, get out and get some fresh air. And in fact, when we went to the trail and we interviewed people, what the most amazing thing to me about the interviews, not only with the subject people interesting, but the backdrop tells another story, the richness of the people that were using the trail, from kids flying kites, fishermen walking by, and, and of course all the birds were singing that, that Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, as well as numerous cyclists were going through. And that was very important because when you mentioned the other side, the other side is the cycling community. They want it paved because it's very easy for them, they say, to be connected to the northern mm -hmm. side of the trail, mm -hmm. which is paved by the part of Westchester. But we're saying, well, wait, to, you yeah. know, the community wants the trail because it's home to its creatures, mm -hmm. namely mm -hmm. the birds, the turtles, mm -hmm. and the numerous numerous creatures that I was, I was mm -hmm. astounded to learn from the naturalists yeah. that have studied the trail right. longer than I have lived. Is there an in conclusion to your advocacy? Um, what's going to happen to the Putnam Nature Trail? That's a good question. You know, our advocacy, our focus is environmental justice. It's a word I didn't know existed until mm -hmm. I got involved here. So, in fact, on Monday we're going to meet with a judge. Mm -hmm. Our 
focus was to make sure that environmental impact study was properly done. The Parks Department took a legal loophole and, and, and skipped that. Mm -hmm. So we're going in front of the judge to advocate for the creatures of the trail to make sure that they're protected by uh, demanding a environmental impact study. There are other solutions. It doesn't have to be paved. There are other, they can fix the trail, right. they can use stone dust. There are other alternatives that meet all the needs. And, and in fact, you can ride a bike very easily on a stone dust trail. Well, um, we only got a few seconds. What is your website so they can find out about uh, your short film? It's, it's a very easy website. It's called SaveThePutnamTrail.com. <laughs> And uh, Save the Putnam Nature Trail is going to be at the International Film Festival Manhattan Program 9. That's going to be at 1 p.m. on Sunday, October 20. Our website is iffmnewyork.com. My name is Louis Pedron, programmer and festival director of the International Film Festival Manhattan.